Hey, have you seen this B movie meme? What? Hey, what's up, guys? Have you seen this B movie meme? Probably. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> wait, wait, what is so funny about the B movie? <laughs> Check out this sick shirt I got with a B-movie script on it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How great is that? You love this, right? I don't get it! I'm trying to enjoy my Cheerios! <laughs> what is- I don't get the joke. The joke, the B movie, the f B movie, the f what the f the, 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 the There's nothing funny about the B movie. There's nothing funny about the B movie. I just want my chair. Well, hello there. Without further ado, let's get started. According to all known laws of aviation, a bee should not be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ye What's that? You're not here for the B movie script recital? I mean, come on, I memorized the entire thing last night. Are you sure you don't want to stick around? Ah, uh, very, very well then. Uh, I see you must be here for the Kendallarius mid-season finale. Ah, uh, well, in that case, you're going to have to go down the hall, two doors to the left. If you find the man reciting the entire Shrek script, you've gone too far. Toodaloo. Hey there, what's, what's up guys? Oh, hey, wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting anybody. What is going on guys? It is your boy here, Kevin Walsh Jr. Here with the mid-season finale of Candelarius, which also happens to be the holiday special. You know what the holiday season signifies for a college student? It signifies the end of the fall semester. And we here at Candelarius put together a top five list of the top five ways you can tell that it's the end of the fall semester at TCNJ. Let me get to number five. We have your grades in Canvas are no longer at 100%. You get at number four, we have uh, students paying with cash at on-campus dining locations. Those points didn't last too far past October, did they? Coming in at number three, we have sorority girls posting Instagram pictures with the caption, ho, ho, ho. And you know what, sorority girls? We know, no, no. <laughs> Coming in at number two on the list, we have students on campus chopping down trees and putting them up in their dorm rooms. Real horrific. Isn't that right, Mr. Tree? Coming in at number one on this list is Mr. Lawsome dropping some serious holiday bars. That's right, Mr. Lawsome is back at it again after that astounding Thanksgiving rap, he has come out with a new video that we have footage for right now to show you of his new video, Happy Holodanks. Check that out. 
Yo, yo, yo! 2016! Guess who's back? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. your boy, Mr. Lawson Finn, to spread some holiday cheer up in here. Where are my sugar Where plum fairies at? Fairies if you think I'm just gonna focus on the big Seamus, then you must not know me. Me and my buddies are about to bust some bars on all the December holidays, you feel? Yeah, that's right. I got friends, Dad. Uh -huh. How about uh -huh. that? Yeah, hmm? yeah. Well, it's time to get down to business with a hardcore rap about Christmas, what? yeah. Jingle some bells and deck the halls. Oh yeah. Oh, Decorate yeah. the tree with garland and balls. <laughs> Bring your favorite sock over your favorite fireplace. Go to grandma's house and then stuff your face. Ho, ho, Spend ho, some ho, more ho. time with your family and friends because when you're with them, the fun never ends. So much fun. Wrap some gifts mm -hmm. and spread some cheer. Oh yes. Hug your mom Aww. and drink an orange crush. It's delicious. This is how we celebrate the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus, 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 Go to sleep and some big fat man will break into your house and leave you presents. Leave him cookies, yes, that yes. will please him, oh, yeah, and oh, he yeah. won't give you scarce natural resources. Cold, you got cold. to trust me, it is in the Bible, it happens right after the birth in the manger. The three wise men, and the fat men, Religion. it's on page mm, and chapter, mm, trust me it's in there. Just get me presents. Get me presents. Okay, 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 okay. You guys heard enough about Christmas. Now I'm gonna send it over to my main man, Joey Barrazzo. And he's about to spit some fire and light all eight of your candles. That's right, he's taking on the big silent C. Ha, ne, ka, go, Joe. Hanukkah. We got the dreidels, we're the festival of lights. This shit is the best because we last eight nights. Take off your yarmulke and your fedoras Sit with the fam and light the menorah Spin that dreidel round and round Make sure you swallow all that matzah down After dinner you go teach a kid Everything you know about the Star of David So mark your calendar for 25th Akislev When is that exactly? I uh, uh, don't actually really know um, I don't know yeah. Mm. I don't know. Eat some potato pancakes, sip on some booze, celebrate these days because they're only for us Jews. Uh, Joe, you're not even Jewish. Hey man, don't tell me what I'm not. Yeah, but like, how could you rap about a holiday you don't celebrate and clearly know nothing about? I know everything about Hanukkah. Uh, first of all, it's pronounced Hanukkah and you don't. You literally just said you don't know when the 25th of Kislev is. Man, I don't need this. I'm going back to Torah camp. Joey, that's that's not a thing. Where are you going? Come back. <sighs> Whatever. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay, that was weird. But we're gonna move along. Actually, we're gonna take it down a notch. Yeah. And by notches, I mean candles. And well, I mean one candle, cause now there's only seven. That's right. We're taking on Kwanzaa. It's my boy, Go Go Gadget Walsh Jr. on the Mac. He's about to drop some bars and attack. Go, Kevin, go. Go, go, Gadget, Gadget, Rat, Rat. That's right. Here we go. Here we go. Kwanzaa. So I see you're upset. Christmas is done, you cry yourself to sleep, cause there's no more fun, no way, well suck it up, cause the day right after, begins a week long celebration full of laughter, Quanta stops the day after Christmas, a whole week of celebration, all over the African American nation, Quanta starts the day after Christmas, time for a feast, big enough to be a beast, Kwanzaa starts the day after Litmas. Time to get groovy. Seven straight days of the B movie. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Celebrate Kwanzaa. You know you want some. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Kwanzaa. Uh huh. Kwanzaa. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kwanzaa. That's right. 
Hey, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Kwanzaa. That's right. Go, go, gadget, gadget. Abort, mission, mission. Okay. Well, that was worse. I, I don't really know what all that go-go gadget stuff was about. I, is that Kwanzaa? I, I, uh, whatever. I don't know why my rappers don't know anything about the holidays they're supposed to be rapping about, but I, I guess my dad was right. <laughs> well, now I'm going to send it over to my main man, PDP, and he's going to rap about the winter solstice. Take it away, Peter. Okay, okay. See, I normally hold back from dropping a holiday verse, yeah, but I yeah. gotta make an exception for December 21st. Oh, Seasonal oh. festivities aren't really my type unless we're getting turned on that winter solstice hype. Yeah. Now, if you're like me and you veer from the cheer, just persevere and wait for the northern hemisphere to tilt <laughs> a few more degrees away from the sun, getting that groovy spot, yeah. You know the one, and when it's done, have some fun, but let's make this clear to all you can, cause it's the shortest day of the year. Okay, gather round, children, it's time we had a talk. I mean, it's the winter solstice, not just f***ing equinox. What you really need to know is that the mainstream news doesn't talk about the winter solstice. They just refuse, therefore, I've made it my personal holiday mission to teach you all about the personal holiday tradition. Okay, Every okay. year on the solstice, get some rope from the store, cut off the power to your house, pour gasoline on the floor. Oh, At oh, night, oh, lock the doors and gather with your whole family when they least expect it. Tie them up single-handedly. Now it's time for the big finale, but you gotta be clever. Set your house on fire and make it the best winter solstice ever, ever, ever. Ba, da, 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 winter solstice. Ah, uh, da, da, ah, uh, ah, uh, winter, winter solstice. Kill your family, kill your family. Winter solstice, kill your family. Everyone's dead. Kill your family. Holiday tradition. Kill your family. Winter solstice. Light the fire on the house. Kill your family and your sister and your dog. Hey, Santa! Hey, okay, what's going on? What's going on? And Happy Christmas. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, yeah, you're different from last year. Oh, no, 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 I'm not different. I'm the same, I'm the same. I'm the only one John Cena! I mean, he's big red, big red, big Santa, big Santa, Santa Claus. What's going on? So, what's going on? What do you want? Um, well, I mean, I guess it would be really rad if, if you got my parents to stop fighting this year. Things have been pretty bad since my dad lost his job. Hey man, do you need anything for Christmas? I mean, I mean, do you really, really want something for Christmas? Cause like, as Barry B. Benson once said, we all live inside human beings that will deteriorate. But when you look at human beings, they are capable of very decent things, love and loyalty. When time is running out, they don't care about possessions or statuses. 
They want to put things right if they've done wrong. Needless to say, us humans tend to be worried about how much time we have left to do something productive or just something that will have any semblance of meaning to another person. Paradoxically, we still lack the awareness that time is in itself a construct. We have no need for material possessions. Therefore, I shall ask again, is there anything that you truly, truly need for Christmas? Mom, Dad, I don't want Christmas to happen anymore. Why, son? I'm scared of Santa. Well, son, that's probably because of his crippling multiple personalities. <clears throat> because Santa's really stressed during the non-inclusive holiday season, and, you know, he's just, he's got a lot going on, sweaty, S sweetie. Uh, I guess you're right. No, son, we're left. <laughs> There once was a little boy named Benjamin, and Benjamin was sad for he was Jewish, and all of his other friends were Christian. So on the first night of Hanukkah, Benjamin wished upon a little menorah that there would be a Jewish version of Santa Claus, and the very next day, something spectacular happened. Ho oh, ho oh, so It's me, Henry! The Hanukkah Horse! You're who? Why, haven't you ever heard of Henry the Hanukkah Horse? No, now you better leave before we call animal control! Benjamin created me out of his wish! Now, does anyone have some lockers? Here, Henry, take these! Hey, Benjamin Herschel, you put those down! Those are for dinner! But mom, Henry is hungry. Look out. But I, <clears throat> what, what are you doing? Here you go, Henry. Why, oh, thank you, little boy. focused on your food next time and more focused on your victims. Mom, why don't you call animal control? You always call animal control, especially when dad comes around. That's because he's a pig and not kosher for dinner. Oh, not again. I'm tired of your antics, Henry the Hanukkah horse. I'm tired of you robbing oil from all the innocent Jews. You're not going to terrorize any more Jews on my watch, Henry. You'll never get me. <laughs> 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 Justice is served with a steaming plate of latkes. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, latkes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, uh, happy Hanukkah, guys. See ya. Henry the Hanukkah horse, and how little Benjamins all across the world learned to never wish for a Jewish Santa Claus again. The end. <laughs>
that's all we have for this episode of Kendallarius, and actually for this whole uh, first half of the season of Kendallarius, because it's time for winter break. If you like this video, you should leave a like on the video, subscribe to LTV, actually you should also click on the link to the playlist of this whole first half of the season below and reminisce in all of our greatest moments. Oh, and don't forget to leave a hate comment below. From all of us here at Kendallarius, we wish all of you watching out there a very safe and happy holiday. Enjoy. We'll see you next semester. Bye-bye! Ah!